I hate to break it to you people, but your favorite shonen manga might actually be a sign-in. And your favorite sign-in manga could easily be a shonen hidden in plain sight. I get it, we use these words to describe genres, so in practice, it doesn't really bother me. But if you genuinely start One Piece thinking this is going to be less mature than Berserk because it's a shonen and the other is a sign-in, get over yourself. You want to know what the real difference between shonen and sign-in authors is? There are some writers that, for whatever reason, need to express their ideas through over-the-top blood and guts as well as triggering sexual violence to make you feel something about its plot and its characters. These are sign-in authors. Shonen writers have all the subtext sign-in manga does, but they don't believe you need to explicitly show the body parts or sexual violence. Maybe it makes them uncomfortable justifiably, or maybe they see the manga sales and understand that if I make this accessible to a wider audience, I'll make way more money. I think it's hilarious with the new One Piece chapters all people are saying, oh my gosh, it's so dark. Really? Do they not know what happened in Nohara? In One Piece 1098, it's revealed a celestial dragon kidnapped Ginny and made her his wife. Every person reading One Piece knows the dark implications of this. Is One Piece a 9 out of 10 now because Oda didn't show us every horrible detail a sign an author would? No. In One Piece, there's slavery, classism, racism, genocide, and much more unpleasant things. If Oda wanted to, it could be a lot darker, and it also wouldn't be the best-selling manga of all time. Yet, there are still people that will look you in the eye and say One Piece is a kid's show. What about My Hero Academia? It's a cheesy, over-the-top shonen, right? What if Horikoshi drew Hero Killer Stain, you know, killing people? Would that make it a sign-in? What if he showed us all the unpalatable stuff that happened in the Totoro? family subplot. Would Horikoshi be in your top 20 list? I think he would. You can literally use this argument with any shonen series. Take its most unpleasant moments, show the audience, don't tell, and you have yourself a critically acclaimed mature sign-in. But you want to know what really makes me laugh? The shonen that everyone likes to pretend is sign-in. One Punch Man, really? I'm Saitama, the strongest hero, but I'm bored and depressed because no one gives me a challenge. Cool concept that was thrown away after like 20 chapters. And don't get me started about the concepts for Gun and Mob Psycho either. Also not a sign-in. If this is for grown-ups, then we need a different definition for grown-ups. Are they? In Yakuza Fiance? No. So why isn't Spy Family a sign-in? Answer that. Is Vinland Saga any more bloody than Chainsaw Man or JJK? I've read them all, so if you say yes, you're lying. How about Kingdom? The two of us are one. If you take flight to the heights of the heavens, then I'll be there with you. That's the first chapter, bro. If that isn't shown in dialogue, I don't know what is. The fact of the matter is you can't judge something by its genre. Because shonen, like sign-in, requires an adult mind to fully comprehend all the concepts in the story. I don't see many Evan Tubes making One Piece theories. Maybe because the One Piece fandom skews a lot older than people think. So the next time you pick up a sign-in or a shonen, realize that you're just picking up a manga. Because the way of the house husband is for everyone, not just adults. But if you see a kid pick up Berserk, slap that out of their hand.